Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a flash transition, something along the lines of this. So to do this is really simple. There's lots of different ways you can do it and lots of different versions you can do, but I'm just going to go over one of them in this video, which is a flash with a simple zoom in. So as you can see, I've just got a music video here, a shot, and it transitions from this shot to this shot which is nice and then on the beat he swipes down and it goes into the next shot so it's it's okay but it could do with some energy into it so what we're going to do we're going to head over here and we're going to click this little icon says new item we're going to click it head down to adjustment layer now this should come up now your video setting should be whatever you shot in so 1080 or 4k 6k 8k etc but just make sure that the time base is 24 frames per second or 23.976 and then press ok and then this should pop up in the left hand corner we're just going to drag that in and it's going to be quite long um, so we want to trim that adjustment layer down just a touch drag our adjustment layer down and then head to the middle of the clip like so once you've gone into the middle of, a of the two clips where they transition from each other you're going to head over to effects and we're going to type in blur and we're going to click the gaussian blur and drag that onto the adjustment layer with that we're then going to go to effects control head down to blurriness and then press the stopwatch and then we're going to increase the blurriness i'd say anything from 100 to 150 looks kind of cool but you can change it depending on the video so we're going to go for 130 on this and as you can see the whole video is now blurred so we need to keyframe so it just blurs in the middle so we're going to scroll back a couple of frames and press add keyframe and then we're going to press the reset so it resets so as you can see now if we play it it goes into the blurriness so we're going to a couple of keyframes after as well press it again reset parameter again i'm going to make mine a little bit longer just for the sake of this video so there we go we have a blurriness but now it just needs our flash so adding the flash we go to effects and we're going to type in brightness and contrast and we're going to drag that onto our adjustment layer like so go back to effects controls we're going to scroll down and we're going to go into the middle again and we're going to press brightness and we're going to increase the brightness to 100 percent i really like this look just as it is um, so i'm going to show you that look first so if we just scroll back up the frames again and then reset and reset again now we should have something like this is a really nice transition between the two clips also as well you can add some contrast to this as well so if you keyframe that turn the contrast up or down um, so this is a, a very extreme look so let's just turn it down a little bit make sure you keyframe in them then we look something like this which is really fast looks really nice i'm also going to show you how you can zoom in between two clips now with this effect so if we go to effects and we type in transform and this is what the one we're looking for under distort and drag that onto the adjustment layer so we're going to go to scale first of all in the middle and we're just going to increase this to 130 just for the sake of this video so you can really notice it and then scroll back to the other keyframes and press reset and then same on the last one we're going to reset that one as well so we should have something like this You can do loads of different effects with this. You can combine it with all sorts of stuff, with all sorts of different footage. Let me know in the comments if this helped you and if you're going to use this. And I'll see you in the next one.